In this video, I'm going to show you how to leave voice feedback in Seesaw. You can see that I have already set a weekend news activity and included a mini rubric looking for capital letters, full stops and sentence openers. I'm now going to review some student work in line with my rubric. I can see that the student has submitted their work and they have included some capital letters in the correct places. However, they have forgotten to include them in other places. They have also included sentence openers, which is something I was looking for, and full stops. So I'm now going to leave feedback in line with that. So I come down here and I click comment and I can type my feedback if I wish. But now I'm going to actually use the voice recording and make a recording of my feedback. So I click on the microphone. Well done, Mike. You included full stops and sentence openers, and you also included capital letters at the start of each sentence. I wonder, could you look back over your work now and check if there's anywhere else you need to include capital letters? Great job so far. Once I finish my recording, I will get this green tick, which means that the review will be sent to the student. From a pupil's perspective, I can see in the notification section that my teacher has sent back work for me to review. When I click on the item, I can listen back to the feedback from my teacher. Well done, Mike. You told me your weekend news. I liked that you included your capital letters at the start of a sentence and your full stops at the end of a sentence. And you even included some sentence openers too to make your writing sound interesting for the reader. I wonder now if you could go and have a closer look at the capital letters and see if there's any other places that you need to add some in. Good job so far. Next, using the three dots, I can edit my work. I can make any changes suggested by the teacher. And once finished, I can click the green tick to resubmit my work.